Checking the spelling of your document is a very, very important thing to do, and you can use the spell checker to help. But don't rely on it completely. I've been caught out a couple of times in my career because I've been late and I haven't proofread it and I haven't got someone else to proofread it, and instead I've relied on a spell checker. And unfortunately, if a word is in the dictionary, it's going to accept it even if it's the wrong word. And that can happen. Get someone else to proof your work because you'll always see what you expect to see if you proof it yourself. And the other advantage of getting someone else to proof it is you can pass the buck. Anyway, if I want to spell check this, I'm going to position the cursor at the beginning and I'm going to zoom in a little. So command plus 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 and it's put where I've selected right in the center and because I've got a cursor active I'm going to use the alt key to scroll my page across a little bit and now I'm going to choose edit spelling check spelling and the first word it can't find is polytunnels well it may be unfamiliar to you as well in the states these are normally called hoop houses it's a series of hoops in the garden with a sheet of plastic stretched over the whole thing and they kind of allow you to grow things more tropically than you otherwise might be able to. And they're great. I've got two, and they allow me to grow stuff which I couldn't grow outside. But it's not in the dictionary. And what it's giving me instead here is polytunnel, singular. How about polybutenes? That is nothing to do with anything I do in the garden. So I could add polytunnels to the dictionary if I wanted. There's two ways to do it. I can click on Dictionary and say, yep, my target is the User Dictionary. And the language is English USA. That's the language I'm using to spell check. Different from English UK because we spell color differently in the UK to how it's spelled in the USA and things like that. And the word that I'm considering adding is polytunnels. Now I could add it to the added words list because it's a lot better than adding it to removed words or ignored words. So added words is good. And if I click on Add, it's now added to my dictionary. And I can click on Done. Now that was the slow way of adding it. The quick way to add it would simply be to say, Add to, use a dictionary, add, and there it's done. So that's what I would do in the future. I'm spell checking the story rather than the document or all documents, which would be every single InDesign document in the same folder. A document, of course, would contain all the stories in a particular document. The story is just the contiguous text frames associated with where my cursor is right now. And to the end of a story means it's not going to come back around to the beginning, which it might otherwise. Now, I don't usually choose that. In case there was something that I missed, and I want to come back around and see it again. So I'm going to leave it on Story. And I'm going to click Start. Now here's another word it can't find, and the problem it's got with that is it thinks it should have a capital C because it recognizes this is the start of a paragraph. That's fine. In this case, I'm going to click Skip. Now it's found Aluminium, because, of course, that's the UK spelling, and that doesn't exist in the User Dictionary for... US spelling. So it's got aluminum instead. I can choose aluminum and say, yeah, change all. And it found two examples and it's changed them both. And then if I start from here, it says it's finished. So I'm done. Those are the only words it has a problem with in the whole document. If I click done, that's it. Zoom back out, command zero, control zero on a PC. And I should now be ready to send it for proofreading because, as I said, you never ever just trust a spell check.